Yo, what is going on, boys? So, in today's video, I am going to be walking you guys through the best optimization guide for your Windows 10 or 11 system to 110% guarantee that you have the best performance for free. Um, obviously, you guys can get much better by getting a service in my Discord, like all the professionals do. They all get service, as you see, I have professionals in here. But this service guarantees that you have the best leniency on the market and you have the best fps on the market uh if you guys come to me but obviously sometimes people can't afford everything so this is going to be a basic optimization guide so what you guys are going to want to do first is you guys are going to want to search gpu go to graphics change default graphics setting this setting right here turn this off you guys don't want this this is going to cause stutters you can test optimizations for windows games for me it doesn't really help me too much doesn't really do too much um also if you have any games here Make sure you remove them. But basically, hags, accelerated GPU scheduling, uh, causes stutters, lag spikes, uh, which are like FPS spikes, and uh, higher latency. Next, what you guys want to do is turn off your game bar. I don't have it on this OS because it is tweaked completely. As you can see, I don't have it. But make sure that you guys uh, turn off your game bar and your game mode. Game mode, if you're on Windows 11, turn that on. I can't walk you guys through it, sadly. I'm sorry. But if you guys have game mode uh off turn it on if you're on windows 11 or you can test really um that's all you guys have to do for that part next what you guys are going to want to go do is you guys are going to want to go to your low latency mode in the video if you're on the video turn it to on you can test ultra but i would just recommend doing on these are also the best settings for it actually i'll walk you guys through them all so you guys are going to want to turn power management mode to perform prefer maximum performance refresh rate highest available shader cast size unlimited turn uh texture filtering off OD bias clamp high performance on auto off off one off and auto the rest are all off as you can see you want all these off then go to your program settings and whatever game you play you guys are going to want to get the path so for fortnite it's add browse this pc your c drive then you guys are going to go to fortnite fortnite game binaries 164 when shipping click it turn it off click apply then the sound Put your gpu here put this to performance then use this use the 3d advanced image settings then go to desktop and position put it to no scaling this helps your latency a lot full screen is good too if you play search as but i would use no scaling as it's typically the fastest for most people then put this to full once you're done that you're done your nvidia gpu uh settings i'm also gonna show you guys some secret uh ones in the registry in a minute next you guys want to go to your control panel this is going to help your uh, network. It's going to help your jitter, your ping, your upload speed, your download speed. Go to properties. Turn all, all that I have off. IPv6, file, Microsoft networks. Then double click internet protocol. Go to, go to advanced. Then go to WINS and disable NetBIOS over TCP. And then once that is done, click configure. Click power management. Turn everything off. Advanced. T or advanced turn off ARP. Turn off DMA. Turn off PME energy efficient flow control test uh interrupt moderation sometimes it's better off for some people not all the time check some offload turn this off all of your offloads you don't need on log link state off ns offload turn this to packet priority you can test off i just prefer pipe priority max out your buffers select suspend disabled speed and duplex put to the highest it can go so if you have five gigabytes 10 2.5 1 put it there max them out your buffers disable your udp and your tcp wait for link off wait from off wake on link off wake on magic packet wake on pattern match off those are basically all power saving settings that you don't need and that can cause bad latency on your system which obviously you guys aren't gonna want that's bad latency or latency in general isn't a great thing you guys don't want to have high latency next what you guys are gonna want to do go to your settings scroll down go to game overlay turn this off and turn off notification position this basically is going to display in like the top left if you have people in the call which is bad you don't want that it hurts your fps a lot actually you guys can see a good boost in fps turn off hardware acceleration then go to voice and video i want you guys to scroll all the way down you'll see a thing called debug logging turn this off this basically just is constantly tracking and it doesn't help uh then you guys are gonna want to go to your content and social or not content social data and privacy and disable these four settings here because these are always tracking uh, I'll also leave a download link for a special program I use called Discord Fixer. This basically doesn't allow Discord to track your keystrokes. So Discord can't tell that I'm like typing these. 
So if you if you look at if I go to like set up a keybind, right? When you use a keybind on normal Discord, like let's say I want to toggle mute and I want it to be this. See, it doesn't doesn't register because it's not being able to track my keystrokes, which actually helps or hurts your latency a lot more than you would think if it was on. Then I'm gonna walk you guys through some basic Fortnite tweaks. I have data percent Fortnite saved config Windows client game user settings. Open this. Right. Once this is open, what I want you guys to do is turn all this to zero. Your landscape quality, everything there to zero. You don't need any of that on. Scroll down more. Make sure all these settings are false and true, as you guys can see. But basically, the main ones you're going to want to focus on, I'm not really going to go through too, too much, is all these to be zero. Because if they are not all zero, it does genuinely affect your latency and FPS a good amount because it's making stuff high quality for no reason. Uh, the only other thing I can recommend is cap your refresh late refresh rate or the refresh or frame rate limit i should say uh to 270 hertz or frames and then make sure your grass is off now that is the main stuff for a basic to advanced user if i was you guys and you guys don't know too too much about computers i would stay away from the next part i'm gonna walk you guys through as it isn't too too simple or too too easy it is through the registry all right, I'm back. So what you guys are going to want to go do is I'm going to walk you guys through this uh, latency NVIDIA guide by a guy named Atomic. He's super smart, super helpful. First, you guys are going to want to put in this right here. And to do this, I'm going to put this in the description because it's going to be just easier for you guys to understand. Then you guys are going to want to click Control F and you guys are going to want to search NV underscore RNT. And then this is going to be the path you need to be in. So, what you guys are going to want to do is find RME CLG, right? You're going to want to make it a D word, right? So, I already have it, as you guys can see. Um, and then you guys are going to want to put in the hexadecimal value of 555555555. Five, 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 five. And I know it's like, oh, why is it not 0 or 1? Just trust me here. Then, what you guys are going to want to do is find the other one called rmb lcg or you guys are going to want to add it not find it sorry and put in the same value one 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 then rme ipg or lpg basically though you guys will just copy these anyway so it doesn't really matter and then this is the value right you put that in you just do the same thing over and over and over it right copy it bang then you guys are going to find rmf spg for me down here and then you guys are going to want to put in this value right bang perfect and then rms clg right here you guys again remember new d word value 32 you put that in then you guys are going to want to go here buffers in flight this is a basic tweak that's been all around for a long long time uh but i'm gonna show you guys how to do it you add buffers in flight click it you click 20. you can guys you guys can try to go lower um i wouldn't recommend because that does require a lot of testing then you guys are gonna want to go to here you guys are gonna want to find your or add these ones tr or tdr d d i delay you guys are gonna want to put all these to zero right you guys want to add right put the value to zero and that is it that is all you guys are going to need to do uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Have an amazing day or night wherever you're from. If you guys do need a service, like I said at the beginning of the video, make sure you guys come here, purchase tweak, and you guys will have the best service in the market, and it's not even close. Have an amazing day or night. Peace.